Milanote Tutorial for Beginners Hi guys, this is Speak About Digital and welcome to this video tutorial on how to use Milanote. Milanote is the ultimate tool for organizing your ideas and bringing your creative projects to life. Whether you're a designer, writer, student, or professional, Milanote provides a visually engaging and intuitive platform that allows you to create boards, add content, and collaborate seamlessly. We have a lot to cover in this video, so let's get started with the tutorial. To begin using Milanote, the first step is to create an account. To sign up for a new account, start by visiting the official website of Milanote. Once you're on the homepage, you'll find a prominent button that says Sign Up for Free. Click on this button and you will be redirected to the registration page. On the registration page, you will need to provide some basic information. Enter your first and last name into the designated fields. Enter your email address and provide a strong password. Once you have entered your password, click on the Submit button to proceed. Alternatively, Milanote also offers the option to sign up for a new account using your Google account or Apple ID. If you prefer this method, simply choose the respective option and follow the prompts to authenticate using your Google or Apple credentials. After completing the sign-up process, it may take a few moments for Milanote to create your new account. Once your account is successfully created, you will be directed to your account dashboard. Once you access the dashboard in Milanote, you'll notice a left toolbar that provides various tools to help you design your board. The toolbar contains a range of options including notes, links, to-do lists, boards, columns, comments, adding images, drawing tools, and more. These tools allow you to customize your board and add different elements to it. Additionally, within the left toolbar, you'll find a trash icon that stores deleted items, such as boards, allowing you to retrieve them if needed. Adjacent to the left toolbar, you'll find a blank canvas that serves as a central area where you can freely design and organize your board. This blank canvas provides you with the space to arrange your ideas, add content, and structure your board according to your preferences. At the top right corner of the dashboard, you'll find several additional options. One of these options is the settings icon, which allows you to access and modify your account settings. Next to the settings icon, there is a notification button that alerts you to any updates, comments, or activities related to your boards. Furthermore, you'll find a search bar that enables you to quickly search for specific content or boards within your account. This search function is useful for locating specific information or boards, especially if you have a large number of items stored in Milanote. If you require any assistance or have questions regarding Milanote's features or functionality, there is a Help Center option available. Clicking on this option will provide you with access to resources, guides, and frequently asked questions to aid you in navigating and utilizing the platform effectively. Lastly, there is a mobile icon representing the option to download the Milanote mobile app. By clicking on this icon, you can easily access Milanote on your mobile phone, allowing you to stay connected and continue working on your boards while on the go. Overall, the Milanote dashboard provides you with a user-friendly interface and a range of tools to create, organize, and collaborate on boards effectively. The various options available on the dashboard enable you to customize your experience and tailor your boards to suit your specific needs and preferences. Now let's see how to create your first project or board. To create your first project in Milanote, begin by locating the board option on the left-hand panel of the dashboard. Click and drag the board to the blank area in the central canvas. Once the board is in place, double-click on its name and change it according to your project's title or topic. After renaming the board, the next step is to open it. Simply double-click on the board you have just named and it will open for you to start working on. Once you're on your first board, it's time to add content. Milanote always allows you to add a wide variety of content types, including notes, images, files, videos, audio, and sketches, among others. For instance, if you want to add a note to your board, navigate to the left toolbar and locate the Note option. Drag the Note tool from the toolbar to your board in the central area. Notes can be placed anywhere on the board and expand as you type. You can enter text related to your project or ideas. Milanote provides various customization options for notes, such as changing the text style, making it bold or italic, adding bullets or numbered lists, adjusting alignment, changing note card color, and even adding reactions to engage with collaborators. Similarly, you can add links to your board. To do this, drag the Link option from the left toolbar to the central area of the board. Link cards allow you to save a visual preview of any website. Simply enter the URL of the website you want to link to, and Milanote will generate a preview for easy reference. In Milanote, you can also add to-do lists to your board to help you manage tasks effectively. To add a to-do list, simply drag the To-Do option from the left toolbar onto the board area. 
Once the to-do list is placed on the board, you can start adding content to it. To-do list allows you to visually group and prioritize tasks. You can set due dates, assign tasks to team members, change colors, give them titles, and set reminders using the options available in the left toolbar. Furthermore, you can add lines and arrows to your board for visual representation or organization. By dragging the line tool from the left toolbar onto your board area, you can create lines or arrows to connect different elements or indicate relationships. MyLaNote provides options to customize the color, direction, and other properties of the lines or arrows. If you have a complex project with multiple components, you can nest boards within boards to help you organize your work. This feature allows you to create a hierarchical structure by placing one board inside another, providing a more structured approach to managing and visualizing your project. Additionally, you can add columns and comments to your board. By selecting the respective options from the left toolbar, you can add columns to categorize information or create sections within your board. Comments, on the other hand, enable you and your team members to have discussions, provide feedback, or collaborate directly within the board. To access more options and content types, click on the three dots located in the left toolbar. This action will reveal additional options, including the ability to add sketches, colors, documents, audio files, maps, videos, and headings to your board. These additional elements can further enhance your project's visual appeal and functionality. When it comes to adding images to your board, MyLaNote offers an Add Image option at the bottom left of the toolbar. Clicking on this option opens a window where you can choose to add images from the MyLaNote library or upload your own images from your computer. Similarly, if you need to upload files to your board, you can click on the Upload option and select the files from your computer to include in your project. In MyLaNote, you have the option to use the Draw tool for sketching or freehand drawing. To access this tool, simply click on the Draw option in the left menu. Once clicked, you can start using the Draw tool on your board. The Draw tool provides you with a pen, selection tool, and eraser for creating and editing your drawings. You can also customize the color and intensity of the pen to suit your preferences. After using the Draw tool, make sure to click on the Save button to save your drawings. Once you have completed your board and are satisfied with its content, you may want to export it for various purposes. To do this, click on the Export option located at the top right corner of the interface. Clicking on this option will present you with different export options to choose from. For instance, you can export the current board as a PDF, PNG, Word document, markdown file, or plain text. Additionally, there is also an option to download all images and files within the board as a compressed zip file. Select the export option that best suits your needs and proceed to export your board accordingly. Exporting your board allows you to save or share your work outside of the MyLaNote platform this can be useful for creating backups, collaborating with others who may not have access to MyLaNote, or presenting your work in different formats. Choose the appropriate export format based on your requirements and use the exported file as needed. And there you have it, a beginner's guide to using MyLaNote. You can sign up using the first link in the description. I appreciate that, thank you. We hope you found this video helpful in getting started with this powerful tool for organizing your ideas and creative projects. With MyLaNote, you now have the ability to unleash your creativity, streamline your workflow, and collaborate effectively. So again, if you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up, and if you have any questions at all, please comment below. I try to answer all the comments the best I can. Thanks for watching.